Okay, so I bought this uh, null oil, um, which is like a, a wash, but it's um, made from oil. Not wool, um. So it, I was a little scared to try it, but someone told me to buy it and, and to use it for um, you know, kind of figures, so that all the details will come out. So I decided to put it on some of these rocks um, before I dry brush them just so it'll fill in all the little cracks of the rocks and uh, show more detail. So I, I did put it on, um, I put it on this one already. So I'm gonna do that first and then let that dry and then I'm gonna dry brush and I'll show um, the dry brush technique. Okay, so here it is after I used the um, the wet wash of that no oil. It's looking pretty good now, but um, so that's gonna fill in kind of all the details and the cracks. That, um, and uh, when I dry brush, it's gonna fill in all of the um, the details of the bumps. So let me get that together, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to try this. I'm going to show you this dry brushing thing here. This neem oil is still a little sticky, but I'm still going to try it. So I have a dab of um, the brown umber and a paper towel. And, I, and a napkin doesn't work. I, I kind of just like the paper towel better. So I get most of it off. And you can see here on the paper towel, most of it's not um, on there anymore. So, so then what I do is I brush one of the rocks. Okay, and then I'm going to get a little more. Definitely don't want any excess on this because we don't want to get it on the... Okay, and then I try to go kind of light because I'm not sure how it's going to work, Just especially when you got a first start in the brush. So like I said, this brings out all the bumps. And artists know all about this technique. And, uh, um, and painting, too. So once I get this layer done with the brown or the um, raw umber, I'm gonna go over it with, um, I have a Mars black, but it doesn't really matter what black. Now, and, and it also depends on what, um, what the diorama is. If it was a desert rock, I wouldn't be doing it this way. Um, but this is just in the forest in New England, so. Okay, we got this baby way up here. Freaking Jerry's jamming, man. And this one at the back of this rock.
Oh, way to see, way too much paint there. Gotta make sure you really, really push it on that. Uh, just want a coat just to show the um, details of, of uh, the bumps. Okay, so I'm gonna change up, clean this brush, do some black, and I'll be back. Because once you did black, no, I'm sorry. Okay, so I've done most of these, so I gotta do these ones here in the riverbed with the black. Baby up here. It really does bring out all the highlights. All right, so I'm just going to do the, uh, the back of that rock and um, there's more details to do. Oh, all the gray I put here in these areas too. I'm just going to dry brush and um, also um, I detail it with moss too and uh, maybe a little bit of soil because, of course, the rocks aren't going to stay clean in nature. So, um, but let me finish up this dry brushing and clean up. So, <clears throat> I thought about doing some dry brushing with white. I don't do it too, too much, but there's, like, this one here has a lot of nice edges on it. So, I'm kind of just taking the brush and scooting it backwards over these edges just to get a little bit of um, highlighting on them. Some of these rocks don't really need that, but that one certainly did. So, and I also thought about how like a lot of the rocks here in New England have this mica inside of them, kind of makes them a little bit shiny. So I'm gonna see if I can do some sort of technique with some silver on the back of them and see if I can see what that looks like. But um, I'm gonna try that out too, but they're looking pretty good right now. Oh, I also I mentioned that I also I'm gonna put, um, add moss to them um, because rocks are never clean and I'll add some uh, um, soil to them too um, just to make them look more realistic and they've been sitting out in nature. So I'm not sure if the tech I'm not sure if it's showing up on this camera but this silver technique is freaking awesome man. I put it on the flat parts of these rocks because that's what I see when I go hiking that you see it mostly on the flat parts. Um, I tell you, if I get this in better light, you would see it, but it is definitely, I'm going to go through and do more of this and uh, I'll finish this up uh, with that silver on there. So you can see the silver here in this light a bit, but uh, of course it's, it's, it's nighttime now, so I don't get any good natural light, but um, So um, it will get dulled down a little bit with um, <clears throat> some of the, um, actually have dusting powders that I'll dust on here. And I'll show those when I do that technique. And, uh, and then I'll put some moss on here too. I'll put the, but they're looking pretty good. I really was pretty happy about putting that silver and white on there. Let me see if I can get, 